Hello everybody and welcome to Can't Catch Carson's first YouTube video. This one will be a 150 Pokemon card pack opening. Um, 100 Shining Fates, but more importantly and much more valuable are the 50 Chilling Rain cards. Um, so just for this first video, I'm planning on just doing this Pokemon TCGO opening. But in the future, if I do get some traction on this, I would be happy to buy some cards. Um, I think that'd be awesome to do, honestly, and then we can use those code cards for another video in itself. But if you like what I'm doing here, um, if you like the content, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. But before you do that, please pause the video and go take a shower. You smell awful. Like, I'm sorry, but I can smell you through the screen and it's kind of off-putting. Okay? Alright, I'm giving you five seconds, okay? Alright. So now that we're all back, smelling good, let's get this done with. Alright, so I never really thought about how I'd do this, but I think I'm going to start with Shining Fates first here. So, a lot of good pulls. Um, obviously, I want the Eternamax, uh, or Eternatus VMAX. That's a huge card. Let's see what our first pulls are. So just regular Professor's Research. Uh, Hollow Rillaboom, that's a cool one. I, before I get open the um, rare for this one, I do love this Chinx so much. I just think it's the coolest one. Hollow and Didi, two hits in a row. Alright, off to a fairly strong start. Two more Pekos, not a big fan of that. My least favorite Pika clone, Shiny Boltund, there we go. That's a very cute card. Yeah, Dreadnought. Um, not too exciting. Probably 100 of them. 68. But no, more Pekko definitely is my least favorite Pika clone. Like, I, it gets a lot of love, but I don't know. I, I feel like after Pachirisu, none of them really do it for me. Okay, that's awesome. Like, I, I'm not going to give great reactions, but this Galarian Zigzagoon is perfect for the Eternatus deck, and I'm very happy with it. I, Celebi is worth about the same as a sheet of paper, so don't expect much from that. Love the Grookey card, even though I have near 200 of them. Manaphy, once again, like Selby, nothing exciting there. Just keep chugging on through. Alright, and the Luxio, I, I just love the Luxray line. The Vol Hollow, yeah. Now, we're you're getting a lot of hits on the Hollows, but nothing that I'm looking for for Hollows. Okay, we have a chance for a Shiny. What are we going to get? Shiny Toxel, that's very, very cute. And a regular rare is a rude. Quite is a rude of you. <laughs> I don't know. Bit of a comedian. Part time comedian, full time disappointment. Alright. So my favorite Shinx card and Grookey right beside each other. That means I'm gonna get two hits right here. I guess a shiny Sobble. Okay, never mind, Dreadmax. Yeah, no, neither of them are hits. What is it? Okay. I'm only crying a little bit. Alright. Reverse. Re I, there's no way I get a good pull with a more Petco in that slot. Yeah, it's a Ditto VMAX. I mean, it, there's some niche uses in the TCGO for it, but... I, yeah, I don't know. As you can see, I have 11 of them, and I do not care about any of those 11. Another, another Dreadnought. That's alright. I mean, honestly, n no really big hits yet. A little disappointing, but I do like the shinies I've gotten so far, so only 13 packs in. I'm alright with that. Galarian Stunfisk. That's, that's kind of nice. I like that. I don't think its shiny has changed too much, but I, I do like the Galarian Stunfisks. Reverse Hollow Eevee, do love that one. And a Cinderace, that, that's a cool card. Um, not too much use in the TCG, but I do like that one quite a bit. I, I do love a lot of Galar's Pokemon, like even the starters, probably my favorite three. Um, yeah, I, I just, I love Grookey. That's probably one of my favorite Pokemon now. And oh, that's a good card for deck building. A very good um, engine for decks is that Chinchino. 
and regular rares are rude. No, I'm happy with that Jinxing pole. I'm surprised I don't have one, because as you can see, if I click on this coffin here, I have more than 200, so this is a set I have plowed into quite a bit. And this will be my first time I'll plug the channel um, or the website. Oh, Cramorant, love it. I, I love Cramorant. This, I, I don't think that it's a common opinion, but I do love its orange shiny too. Big fan of it. Hopefully we can pull that into this. But no, like I was saying, um, Potown, uh, the website Potown.com or PotownStore.com, they did just, they have awesome prices and it got me back into Pokemon TCG. Uh, I'm planning on probably spending some money and building a deck. I'm not sure what the deck is going to be just yet. I'm going to play around online and then find out, but no, I'm, I'm pretty excited. They did help me get back into the TCG. Yeah, and we're just, I know we're chugging through, but I, I'm not too excited for these Shining Fates here. There's some big pulls, but if we miss those big hits, then we don't get much from it. Okay, so this could be a Shiny. Okay, Runarigus. Okay, I like that. It's a good shiny. I have six of them, but I can always trade them. Um, and if anyone in the comments here wants to make a trade, I would be glad to. Any of these shinies you see, if you ask, like this Yveltal, I have 15 of them. So, any cards you think you want, I, good chance I have more than four of them in this set. So, don't be afraid to reach out. I'd love to build a community and help you guys out. Okay, reverse rares are rude. Um... You know, I'm, I'm thinking a Ditto VMAX, this card. Celebi. A lot of grass representation in this pack, but just open another and keep chugging along. Okay, Ball Guy. Love, love, love Ball Guy. I, I like those Ball Guy full arts, but I don't really run Ball Guy anymore. I, I love Squovit. I do not like Greedent. Um... Greedence in this set, and it's the bane of my existence. I think I have 15 of them. I might have traded all of them because I just don't like them filling up my space. Ooh, okay, that's a big one. All right, Lapras V Max Shiny. Okay, that's a beautiful one. Um, it's used with the uh, Sobble and um, I'm trying to think Frostmoth and another great Galarmon. But yeah, no, that's an awesome card. Love to see that pull. Definitely helps make up for a somewhat slow start of the opening. I, I want to see how many rusted swords I have. 171. Okay, reverse rare Lux Ray, reverse hollow. Love that one. I, I love that line. And ditto V Max. I, I called it a couple packs too early, but. Nothing too special, but can't be too upset about two VMAXs pretty close together. One being a shiny Lapras too, okay. Another chance at a shiny, let's see what we get. Eveltal, that's fun. that's cool. And yeah, this cell will be nothing too exciting here. Yeah, let's see. Okay, another chance, hopefully it's not just a regular reverse. Oh, shiny double. I have plenty of those, but I do love this card. Um, the Black Sheep of the Family. Very, very cool. And a regular rare Volcanion to end that one. Let's see. I think the Spinner Act card is very cute. I wish they gave Ariados a better stat distribution. It's just, it, it can't accomplish anything. So, it's a fairly sad life to live. And Bug Poison leaves you a lot to look for, but... Cramorant VMAX, that's a very, very useful card for some decks. Um, like that Rillaboom as an as a engine, filling that up, that's a very, very cool card. Uh, and I, like I said, I love my Cramorant, so big fan of that pull. Oh, Shiny Choodle, that is so cute. I love Choodle, that's, that's another, I'm just a Gen 8 fan, and Rillaboom. Rillaboom might be competing for my favorite Pokemon, now I think about it. Um, I originally, when I saw the starters, thought Inteleon was so, so cool, but the more I looked at Rillaboom, I just absolutely loved it. My first playthrough for Get Through Galar, um, 
used my real boom named Goku, and I, I loved that thing. Um, I even used like stat changing berries or um, EV lowering berries so that I could redistribute the EVs with it and use it in competitive. It's just such a beautiful Pokemon. That's one thing Sword and Shield did so right is the um, the ability to make any Pokemon competitively viable. Bosses orders, but the com making any Pokemon competitively viable is so huge. Like being able to take your starter into Master Ball tier, I just love that. Another Galar Stunfisk, I, I can't be upset with that. And Hollow Rillaboom, or just keeping all the pulls like that. That's I love Dartrix, like the shiny Dartrix. And I, I don't necessarily have Dartrix, but I love the De uh, Decidueye's shiny. Probat V. Um, if you guys don't play the actual TCG, huge staple in the meta game, and I love having as many because they're good trade fodder. So, more than happy to get one. Ooh, two hits in a row. I do have plenty of these Senate Scorch, but Senate Scorch V is a fairly popular, like V Max is a fairly popular deck. So I, I'm sure I can get some value out of that one. And a Hollow Lux Ray, that's a good pack right there. That makes me pretty happy. So yeah, the first first like 40 cards, fairly good just because it's kind of back loaded on that one. And Drizzile, okay, now that I have more than five, that's massive because people love this card. Shady Dillings is huge in a lot of decks, is a bit of an engine. And more Peko V. I'm I'm okay with that. V more Peko V Max is a bit of a niche deck, but it's definitely used. Let's see. And this this EV is adorable. I'd never really took the time to look at it, but I like that card a lot. You'd think I'd look at it a little more with 222 of them, but regular rares are rude. I I, I talk about how much I love Gen 8 designs, but Zarude really, I don't know. That's probably my least favorite mythical. You know what, I might have a question of the day. I feel like that's a good idea, but what was your guys' favorite mythical Pokemon? If you do have one, make sure to drop it in the comments and I'll be able to respond to those. I'll be looking out for them. Um, I, I'm, I, I think I'm a Jirachi guy. I love Mew, but... I think Jirachi's at my heart. Uh, Gen 3 is just... It's, it's, wait, Jirachi, Jirachi is Gen 3, right? Oh, Careless. Huge, huge um, pull there. Do love that. If you're running um, a fossil deck, it's good stuff. But yeah, no, I, I love Gen 3. I, I'm pretty sure Jirachi is Gen 3 because Pokemon like Coliseum. But no, I, it's such a good Pokemon. Reverse Rare, Boss's Orders. And a Hollow Decidueye. And this is a fairly common archetype right now. Um, it counters my favorite deck to use very well, the um, Eternatus VMAX. So I will say, if you want any of these cards, um, be sure to leave a comment. I'll have my friend, like my name in the description on Pokemon TCGO. Make sure to add it and I'll add you back. So yeah, if you want any of these cards, don't be afraid to ask for a trade. But yeah, no, Decidueye is a huge pain in my side. Aw, oh, Grookey. Love little buddy. Well, Canadian Reverse Rare. And a Dreadnought. I do like Dreadnought a lot. The only, my only issue is fairly common now, I guess. I've heard a lot of people say it. But it does bother me how much he looks like a toy. Alright. Fairly disappointing pack, but... We got about 50 more to go, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. I just do not like this more Peko card. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll warm up to it. Ooh, shiny Inteleon. Love to see that. And a Dreadnought. But this is a beautiful, beautiful card. I. A lot of times I think that the starters would be better off if they had their shiny variants. Like Incineroar, so good shiny. A reverse rare Rillaboom. And a Hollow Decidueye. That's some love Gen 8 and Gen 7 grass starters. Kind of cool.
boss's orders. Yeah. Fair enough. You know what? I'm gonna I'm chug along a little bit now because I don't want the video to drag on for too long for some of these unimportant cards to me. Because I really just want the big hits. I, I'm not too, too pressed about most of these. Frostmoth is a very useful card. Um, I say very useful, but it's, it's widely used, but I think the success it's seen has been somewhat limited. Um, oh, 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 Dreepy. Dragapult. Oh, that's another one of my favorite Pokemon now. I, so my first um, shiny in Gen 8 was a shiny Dragapult from just, I think it was two like 30 eggs hatched from the Masuda Methods so fast on another Sobble. I love this one too. Just such a good line, but no, I, I got a shiny Dreepy, and man, I loved that thing. I, I used, still use it on some of my competitive teams, and very, very fun Pokemon in line. Shiny Ducklet, and Dreadnought. That's a very cute shiny. I I didn't. I don't think I remembered that Ducklet's a, pur a pink and purple shiny. One of my more favorite Gen 5 Pokemons, even though it's fairly simple. And I'm, I understand that like Kramer is like a a seagull, and it makes sense for a UK region, but I. I feel like with Swana existing, the water flying archetype is already fairly strong already with like Mantine. I'm not sure if it does really deserves a place, but I still love it. I'm not even gonna mention this ditto. I it it's a pull, I guess. Like woo. Yay. Leave a like for Ditto, please. We love Ditto. Oh but that actually if you're gonna leave a like for anything, it's that Yamper, the cute pink. Oh, and a Cramorant V. That's a that is a pack right there. The V Max Cramorant and the Yamper. Very very cute. Excuse me. Um, hopefully the mic didn't pick that one up. But Santa Scorch V. No, I, I should be more excited about that. I really do like this card. Um, I don't think the shiny looks as good on the card as it does in game, but very very cool and. As a rude. I've already shared my thoughts on that. Not a huge fan. Also, I will say, um, this Rowlet, I, I think it's impressive though, the 60 damage of one of your opponent's Pokemon. I know it's only 50 and there's you're not gonna get triple acceleration or acceleration energy on a Rowlet, but that's still something to consider. Like that's a lot of damage way off the bat. And the um the secret rare Alcremie Al VMAX, as you can see, I've opened so many of these, but that is a that is a big pull. Like, that's pretty, pretty rare. I'm surprised we got it before we even got an Alcremie V, I believe, in this pull, but very, very cool Pokemon. I love the card. Um, and now with, um, like, Path, not Path to the Peak, but the Old Cemetery and the Fog Crystal, I think that Fog Globe, whatever it's called, there's a couple cards that really make that somewhat useful. Alright, Decidueye, Hollow, yeah, i love to see that one. I have more than enough of it, but still very cool. Veltal, and Zarude. Yeah, I'll, I'll trade all 58s of these in a heartbeat. Do not want them on my computer. Also, I... Everyone loves Snom and thinks it's the cutest thing. I'm all for Galar Pokemon. I just think it's like a mid-tier Pokemon. Like I don't think it's the Pokemon everyone makes it out to be. But, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of my favorite Pokemon in this pack now that I'm actually looking at it, though, other than Snom. I do love Frostmoth. Ice Bug is so cool, but I, I played um, a lot of Platinum over the summer. A lot of um, Bleasel and Bleasel and Floatzel runs. Love the Pokemon. Professor's Research, yeah. Not too exciting, but no, like Floatzel and Bleasel have treated me very well. I love those two. Like I said, Floatzel. I, it's not usable at all. 50 damage for a stage one is kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. Let's see. 
I, I feel like we're due for a pull. I think it's been long enough. Okay, what are we thinking? I'm guessing an Alchemy EV. Dreadnought. Here to ruin my day. Oh, <laughs> that's a very, very cute score, Bunny. Um, see, I don't, I don't watch much of the Pokemon anime, but the score bunny in the anime, for who, for those of you who have seen the, um, its relationship with Ash, I've only seen a couple episodes with it, but very strong arc already. Um, big fan of that. And overall, even Cinderace grew on me so much. Boss's order. I will say, um... I think Rabu is probably the strongest of the middle stages this for this generation. Um, neither. Um, why can't I think of Sobble's evolution? Not Inteleon, but the other one is it in the pack somewhere. Um, it'll come to me, but neither. Jeez, I'm struggling with this. I just gotta see it in a pack, but. Um, Neither Sobble's evolution or Thwacky really, really impressed me that much. Like, I, Thwacky's okay with me, but Raboot does knock it out of the park. Big fan of it. That's a cool little trap and chart. Pretty cute. Oh. You guys are probably just yelling at me in your heads here for not knowing Sobble's evolution, but... It, it'll come to me. I don't know why I can't think of it. Reshiram. And boss's orders. Vulcanian. I'm, I'm really struggling. I know I, I, I'm still on it, but I've played a lot of um, Gen 8 in German. Just because that's the world language I just chose to learn, and I, I find it pretty interesting. And I, I can't think of the English name, because every run I've done with it has been in German. But I, I know the card says Shady Dealing as the ability. Hmm. I think I'm just going to... Oh, that's cool. A hollow and a reverse hollow and DD in the same pack. You like to see that. Let's see. Oh, shiny Arctazolt. Big fan there. Um, Biting Whirlpool. That I I've had this deck played against me before. Um, in conjunction with the path to the not path to the peak, the old cemetery. So if you put on energy, it did four damage counters, and it stacks with other Arctazolts. So that that's a very big one. Big fan of that card. Let's see. Neon Mega. We are nearing the end of this, and that's fine. Um, No massive, massive pulls. You could call the Alcream EV. Oh, Gym Trainer. That's a cool one. Um, You could call the Alcream EV Max a massive pull, but I, I'm i not a huge fan of it. Like, it's not as valuable to me. Is that a shiny Copperaja? Yeah, it's shiny. The shiny makes no difference to me on this one, but I do like Copper Raja. Delmi's V, I use that in a deck. Um, pretty cool Pokemon. That's not a bad pull there. Alright, Manaphy. I like this reverse Rowlet. I'm okay with it. Um, okay. This coughing looks kind of goofy. But I do like the art on this one. I, I once I zoom in on these, I make I appreciate them a little more. Um, love that Shinx, like I said earlier. Huge fan of it. And the shiny, or not shiny, but the hollow rather Rillaboom. We're almost to the good stuff here. And I will have a timestamp in the description, hopefully. Um, if you do, I know it's late, and you might as well stick for the last eleven, but. If you do want to skip to Chilling Rain, another Dartrix, I'm here for it. Love that card. Has a very good artwork of it, too, because I'm not a huge fan of the Dartrix normally. Yes.
Gosh, I love Grookey. Speaking of Grookey, and Thievul. Thievul Hollow. That's a pretty goofy art. I like that a bit more than I thought I would. Oh, and a Lapras V Shiny. Big pull. I love that card. Um, You saw I have six of them, but that's still fine with me. I'm, I'd be glad to trade them. I don't want to talk about it. Um, Just open another. Keep going. Wipe the stink off my nose. I'm not a big fan of that one. I think if I get another Greedent V in this opening, I'm just going to turn off my computer. I... Oh, let's go! I'm actually so happy about that. Another Lapras V Max shiny. That could not be better. But if it's a Greedent, then I won't. I just, it will counterbalance hard. Okay. So just, as long as there's no Greedents, I'll be fine with all regular rares or roots. That is perfectly fine with me. The reverse rare Galarian Weezing. Big fan of that Pokemon. <laughs> okay. There is a glitch in the Matrix now. I, I see it. But like I said, no, I'm a huge fan of Galarian Weezing. And it's one of my favorite Galar Pokemon, actually. If you can count it as one. I, I think that's how it works. Um. <gasps> that's a huge, huge pull. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about, man. Hey, right, give, me, give me a pounder. Come on, just... What I'm talking about. That that just made my day. I use an Eternatus V deck and now I can have four of them in there. That's massive. I that makes me very, very happy. You know, my day is made. That's plain and simple. Oh, I was so nervous. In my head I was thinking, what if it was like a Eternamax or Eternatus V? That's still such a cool Pokemon. Love the pink shiny there. Oh uh, man, my heart, my heart got me a little bit there. Oh, shiny ducklet again, very cute. See, it looks like we're not gonna get greedent. I know, um, probably shouldn't have said that out loud, but okay, just one more to get, two more to get through, to not be greedent. Okay, if either is a turn of max, I I might lose my burn. Oh, shiny Grookey. Yes. Okay. Guys. Here it is. This cannot be a Greedent. I refuse to let it be. Let's just check first. Okay. We're safe. Now for the final pull of Shining Fates. It's Silico, bro. That's a pretty cool shiny. I like the artwork on that one. Cannot complain with the hit on the last one. But now we have what you came for, okay? Chilling Rain, 50 packs, worth, like, I think it was five times more money than the other 100 cards, just for this 50. So, okay, so in this first pack already, love Crabrawler. This feels an awesome Gen 3 Pokemon. Venipede's one of my favorite Gen 5. Furfruit, I have a Poodle, love this Pokemon. I think it's highly underrated. Galar Farfetch'd, I love Surfetch'd. Like, this is just such a stacked pack for me. And Old Cemetery and Fog Crystal are huge in the meta. It's just going to be a good one. And we start off with a Hollow Frostlass. Things are going to go well for us here. Okay, Quillfish. Um, that's not... That's kind of cool. I like that. The... Um, Six damage counters, especially for a single prize card. That's not too awful. Ooh, okay, that's huge. Cresselia is a huge, huge Pokemon for Crescent and Glow. Good setup. And Photon Laser, Um, after you use Crescent Glow, you will have um, that many energy on your deck. So if you're playing a fighting deck, then you could easily get a turn three KO. Or to, turn two, rather. Ooh, that's a cool reverse rare Cinderace. And just a regular Serena. Oh, I, I like this Sobble card. 
I think it's a little goofy, but I do love it. I I don't know how I feel about these Urshi food cards. Um, really don't think they'll have much of a play on the meta, the non V ones, but we'll see how they fare out. Path to the Peak is a huge, huge meta card right now, so like to see that there. Um, core reverse rare. Another regular rare Serena. Not really what you want to see. Lots of cast forms in this set. Um, I have seen a cast form deck, and it I, it really does not match up well with the Turnitus VMAX, so... We'll see how, how strong it is. I think it's going to be a good niche deck. Just regular Gorg there. My favorite Gen 5 Pokemon though, so... Not too bad. Oh, see Leo. Alright, so we got a Glade which has only... That, oh, okay, that makes sense now. I was going to say the Psychic, I know it's a Psychic Fighting type, but... So this could play well into a Psychic deck, so that's kind of nice to see. And the uh, Dyna Blade attack, that could stack pretty quickly, so... I don't think that it'll have much of a meta stance, but... That could be a neat Pokemon to have. Another Golurk? That is a cool card. I like that. Impact Energy? What does that do? Oh, it just can't be poisoned. That's not really... Yeah, that's not very special. Yeah, and Seavold is not very good either. Um, a lot of underwhelming supporters, and also an underwhelming like opening so far all around here. Um, not exactly what you want to be seeing, but just gotta keep pressing through. Whirlpeed, love it. Ice Mommy, cool. And we got Zebstrika, another cool Gen Five Pokemon. There it is. First hit of the opening for the um, Chilling Rain is the Galarian Moltres, which I've already been experimenting with one in my deck. And I do like the um, the energy flow it gives for the discard pile. It's very strong with energy switches. So big fan. Surfetched. Love it. Um, ooh, that's actually not bad. That Leak Strike attack. Um... But the 130 health, it's hard for a single prize dex to do well in this metagame. But that, that leak strike right there just kills Eternatus. Oh, poor Yon Z. I do like this one. And Walrein. I wish Walrein had a good card. Um, I don't think they'd ever give it a V or anything, but... Very, very interesting Pokemon. Yeah, we got we got Celebi V here. That's that's a pretty, very, very pretty card. Uh, I should be more excited, but right now I'm so focused on the metagame that I really want one of the Calyrexes. The Callies are the very big hits of this set. Another Golurk. All right. Hopefully Golurk will give some of the attention away so that we can see some Calyrex. Really? I We got a reverse rare Kakuna though. Keep going. Yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer. Um, it is what it is. Spiritum. Spiritum is a good, um, Mad Party Counter and Night March for Expanded. I, I think it's a cool Pokemon. Cool concept. Sandaconda V. Okay. Um. Again, I don't think this is going to be too too strong in the metagame. Maybe like a tier 2 or 3 deck. Somewhat niche, but very cool Pokemon. I like Sandaconda a fair bit. I know I've been praising Pokemon I love a lot. But, oh, Drizzile! That's what it was I couldn't think of earlier. Okay. 
I don't know why, but I just wasn't going to get that. But here, right here, Clavipus. I'm not a huge fan of it. Not sure why, but never really have been. No, this Cinderace, I, I think it's very impressive. The um, Crisis Power ability mixed with the, um, I think it's Karen's Vengeance is what's called. Really, really starts to add up as your opponents start taking prize cards. So this can be a good ender or game ender for sure. Alright, I haven't pulled a Galarian Articuno yet. I've opened about 70 packs before this started, so maybe this is one. No, it is not. Um, that's a cool Bennett card. I like Bennett. You, you know, how much? How many times I said I like a Pokemon, you're going to think I love all Pokemon. But I really don't like Swirlix, Snover, or Lady Bell that much, or even Steenie for the matter. I love Aggron. Okay, I know. I just love Aggron. Also, it's Karen's Conviction. That's the one. I think I said Karen's Vengeance. I think it's a cooler card, but... Oh well. Galarian Weezing. Oh. That is such a cool card. Okay. I am... I think I'm a fan. I didn't even realize this card was there. This is going to be a good time. Oh. Wait, never mind. I, I, I didn't see the Weezing. Okay. Yeah, I, I got very, very excited there until I realized that it was only Weezing. I was going to say, I feel like I had noticed that that was a staple in the meta or something. But it is what it is. Another Spirit Tomb. Man, come on, give me the hits. What are you hiding from me? I didn't drop 50 bones on this to get nothing. Come on. Cabalion. And Weezing. Okay. Oh, okay. I can see the appeal now. That. That's pretty good. Okay, so I can see a Weezing Galarian Moltres. I might have to try that out, honestly, once I get done with this. A Weezing Galarian Moltres sort of deck. Um, that, that could be interesting. Another Galarian Weezing to power this said deck I'm thinking about. Let's see what we got here. Obama. Not too much. Yeah, we're really not getting pulls, are we? Come on now. Alright. Okay, loosen up deck. Come on, give us give us something good. Another Serena. We have nine of them so far. And they, they haven't been giving me rugged helmets very much either. Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer for me, but we'll see. Gullet carrying rocks for whatever reason. Now we got our four Weezings. Now you can give me some Calyrex, maybe? I don't know, just an idea. Spitball in here. Game said no. I... Hmm. Don't know how I feel about this Weavile card. Not sure that'll be very useful, but we'll see. Maybe it'll have some niche use. Oh, it's a Viper. I have, I'm surprised I haven't gotten one yet. Yeah, this has been a really weird distribution. I've gotten nine of a different regular rare before getting one of these. No, it's a Viper with Karen's Conviction. Ho, ho, ho. You're, you're starting to look at a lot, a lot of damage. That's another strong archetype in this meta. I think Cubfu's a cute one. Nothing here. Wow. The 30 damage to each of your Pokemon is a little scary there, but 240 for a, um, it's a stage 2, but for a single prize Pokemon, it's not too shabby. Oh, and it's a steel type too, so you have the Galarian, um, what is it called? Galarian Berserk, or Berserker, not Galarian, the uh, evolution of Galarian Meowth. Oh, I love this art, I never realized this. The throwing coach was for the Sobble. That is so cute. And you know what's the coolest part about this card? 
So a lot of the times they'll pair this with a, like Intellion VMAX so that you do 30 more damage with that VMAX, um, whatever its attack is that does 160 and 60 to the opponent's bench. That is pretty cool. I love the evolution of that saw will learn how to shoot better because of that Pissimian. Oh, Lipard V. Okay. Um. Let's see. I'm not sure how valuable that hidden claw is. That's that's the only thing I, I I've seen some people talking about a use for it. But I, I haven't quite been thinking on the same train as them. Okay. We are two poles away. Like we're two Oh whoa! Yes, 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 okay. That's the big one. I was about to say, we haven't seen a single Calyrex, and we almost went through the size of a booster box. This is massive. This is what you want to see, okay? So, the Shadow Rider Calyrex, I love this, and we want to see the VMAX, too, if we can. Kecleon. Alright. Alright. They're hiding the good stuff from me, I'm telling you. Grapple locked. Hmm. <gasps> That's a, such a cool card. Love this Tornado's V. Um, really, I, I don't know what the Tornado's VMAX is, if it's viable, but I do love that one. Man, that one got me a little bit. So now, yeah, now the poles are starting to come in. Let's hope we keep up this luck. Spirit Tomb. Okay. And Fog Crystal, that is what it is. Um, very important for this metagame. If anyone needs to trade for them, like I said, um, my username will be down in the description, hopefully, for you guys. And another Serena. Not loving the Serena too much. Not at all. Alright. This rock rough is too cute and just playing in the snow. Another Gallade. Oh, I have eight of them. I don't remember pulling that many, but more you know. Um let's see what we're looking at. Do love seeing those cinder races in there. And another Slurpuff. Oh, I guess we don't have that many of them, but yeah, Slurpuff doesn't serve much of a use. <gasps> another Galarian Moltres. Love, love, love it. Um, now I have four, but I'm. I, I guess that I do need. I would want four if that's gonna be more of my main attackers for um this deck I'm thinking about doing with the coughing or galarian wheezing um, and moltres try and think quick balls you know to get the um, get the energy discarded and then moltres to pick it back up and count it as two um, ooh I didn't even it took me a second to realize why I just pulled but um, yeah no, that's very very cool card brawly here um, not sure how I feel about it just because um, it is a supporter and you can only play one per turn and we have the Sobble card who fulfills the same duty but if you don't want to run Sobble and Drizzile as an engine and even Inteleon then Brawly might be a good counter pick. Not too sure but maybe that, that might be the last last pull we get here if we're not too lucky. Alright, let's see, come on. R and Jesus, bless us here. Let's see what our reverse rare is? Aw, Tapu Fini, which is, I think, directly a clone of Suicune. Um, I could be wrong, but a Suicune card from last set, or one of the last sets. Regular rare Serena, um, yeah, I, it's making me like Serena a bit less, but, oh well. Path to the Peak is a huge card. That's going to be so meta-defining. Zero Aura V. Okay, this one, this is another big one. Um, I think people might end up playing it with Pika Rom. I'm not sure, but with Passimian, 
this is gonna be massive. That thirty extra damage to one of your uh, that that's and okay. So with Passimian on your bench, as Passimian rapid strike or single strike, because I might be speaking on my butt here, but if you have the um even the telescopic sight, that one shots Crobat Vs and snipes him off the bench. That's a big pull there. All right, can we squeeze him one more in two packs or three packs? Somewhat doubtful, but we can see what we can do. And a Hollow Thunderous, very interesting card. Serena, just haunting my dreams. If this is a Serena, I'm gonna be upset. Hollow Lycanroc. Um, I don't think Rogue Fangs is gonna be too. I uh, I don't see a world where Rogue Fangs is a very valuable attack. But for just two energies, I could see that it's not awful. Thunderous. Another Hollow, just right right back, but. Looks like we are out for now. I Man, so what we can do is we can see what we what all we have um not only from this um this poll here, but from what I pulled earlier. Um Let's see. I'm going to do rares and up. Apply. So, Obama Snow, Agron. I love Ampharos. Big Gen 2 fan. I pulled this um, Secret Rare Blaziken VMAX, the other, one of my other pulls, a Bliss EV, a couple Celebi Vs, Cinderace, Cabalion, Cresselia, Dugtrio, Frostlass, four Moltresses, one of my pride possessions for this set so far, um, Galarian Surfetch, I've been using this Galarian Slow King um, in my Eternatus deck, World of Ruin is... I. I just think, I don't know what the flaw is here, because it seems very, very strong to me. Um, Alright, so I have only three of these Galarian Weezings, which I would like a little more, but that's alright. We can get another one. Um, the Galarian Zapdos, I have four of them. I didn't get any of these four from the 50. I've just been really lucky in the pack openings I have done with it. Wrap locked, not too exciting. I don't like this. Hatterene, I like this. This is very pretty. Um, not sure how valuable Witch's Rondo is, but we'll see. And Ice Rider Calyrex, that's one of my favorite pulls I have done so far. Very, very cool card. I like this kind of spear it has. So good. Leapard V. Eh, we'll see how it plays out. Not a fan yet. Metagross V, I wish they gave more love, because I really don't think it's going to be very good. Um... Yeah, I don't see a world where that succeeds. These two Passimians, huge players in the meta. Um, very cool reverse rare Porygon Z's here. Rapid Strike Urshifu, Rillaboom, Sandaconda V, and Sandaconda V Max. I got two of those. Um, these two, these three Survipers, massive. Karen's Conviction, love to see it. That will be a very cool meta card, and it also, um, it takes down the Shadow Rider Calyrex, which is going to be a pretty big staple, I assume. So yeah, that'll be pretty exciting to see. Um, Single Strike Urshifu. This one I can see being a little more valuable than Rapid Strike Urshifu, the non-VMAX form. It definitely has a chance of succeeding. Um, Spirit Tombs, Finny, or the, um, what's it called, Night March Counter, or... Mad Party. Tapu Fini, very, very cool. Tornadus Fee, I love this art. So cool. The Score Bunny, Flying Rock Rough, Quillfish. It's just such a cool genie. I like the genies. Don't want to talk about Serena anymore. I've had enough with it. Weavile, love the, love the Pokemon, but not as much the card. Um, I got my Weezings. I love that. Um, I love the other Weezing's abilities, but this this is gonna be big. That smog burst, um, Gale claws for this Zangoose. I don't think it'll be very valuable. Um, but yeah, and then the rounded out this Zara Auric here, the bench sniper. But yeah, no, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, I really do appreciate your time. And even if you don't subscribe, I appreciate just all the time you spent with me today. But 
So I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you in my future videos. All right, peace out.